Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use average if function in Excel. This is a good function to use when you have to average some numbers and there is a condition attached to those numbers. So in this cell if I type average I select average from the drop down list and I hit tab you can see this function takes three arguments the first is a range which has the criteria now do not get confused this is not the sum range or the average range which has the numbers this is the criteria range the second argument is the criteria which you have and third is the average range in case you do not give average range then Excel would consider this range to be both criteria and average range so let me show you how this works. In, av in uh, range, I select A2 to A6 because I want to identify the average of the numbers which are attached to Tom. So in this case, I have 10 with Tom, 12 and 0. So I want to find the average of only those numbers that belong to Tom. So in this case, I've selected the criteria range. My criteria in this case is Tom. I'm typing it manually if you have it somewhere here in some cell or here you can select the cell reference as well and the average range is the numbers that has uh, that I want to average now I hit control enter and this gives me 7.33 because it goes here and checks for this condition which is Tom and sees Tom is here and here and here so it takes only the numbers which are adjacent to Tom so here it takes 10 12 and 0 and it averages these three numbers so if you divide 22 by 3 then you'll, you would get 7.33 you can also use wildcard characters in the condition in average if so for example instead of Tom in as I showed you in the previous example instead of Tom I want to average the numbers that are attached with a name that has the alphabet A in it so in this case, if I do it manually, it would be Jane and Arjun because these are the two names that have uh, alphabet A. These three, which are Tom, does not have A in it. So to do that, I type average. I select average if and hit tab. In range, I select the criteria range. And in criteria, I would type in double quotes star A star or asterisk A asterisk. This asterisk indicates any number of characters before A and the later one indicates any number of characters after A. So essentially this condition means that any word that has alphabet A in it would satisfy this condition. And now in average range I select these numbers and I hit control enter and this gives me 13.5 because when it checks for this condition which which says that the word should has alphabet A in it only these two names meet the condition which means that only these two numbers get average out and if you do it manually it will be 27 by 2 which is 13.5 you can also apply these conditions on numbers so if you want to say identify uh, the average of only those numbers which uh, are greater than 10 or any condition like that then you can again use average if condition in this case I select the range as this because my condition would be applied on numbers so I do not want to select criteria as names I would select the criteria as numbers and as I said your range and your average range could be the same and in criteria I would say within double quotes greater than 10 and you can choose to again select the average range or you can leave it out because this is optional if you do not have the average range Excel by default takes the criteria range as the average range also notice that this is in double quotes whenever you use a mathematical operator such as greater than less than equal to then always have it in double quotes so now when I hit control enter this gives me 13 and if I do this manually I would see 12 15 and 12 these are only the three numbers that meet the criteria which is greater than 10 if you do this manually then this number comes out to be 39 divided by 3 which is 30 two things that you need to remember about average function is that if in the average range there is a blank or text then average function would ignore it and in case you leave the criteria range as blank 
then average if function takes the criteria to be zero. So these are two things that you should know about average if function. So this is how average if function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.